Hey everyone, today let's explore video backgrounds in PowerPoint. What you're seeing on the screen right here is actually a PowerPoint slide with a video that's playing in the background, and it's a looped video, which means the end of the video is pretty much the same as the beginning of the video, and it just plays looped over and over again. And this is an easy effect that can really bump up the impression that your PowerPoint presentation gives. Let's explore how I put this together. So what I'm seeing on my screen is actually pretty simple. The elements are that I have a video that plays in the background here, and then I have a text box with my text, and I applied some effects to the background here, and I'll show you what I did. So let's start out creating a blank slide. I'm going to go into the internet, and I'm actually just going to search for looping video. There are many good sites that have free looping videos that you can use, such as Pixabay, VidEasy, or Pexels. I'm going to click on Pixabay and see what they have to offer. As I hover over, I can see some of these effects. Some of them are a little bit more dramatic than other effects, uh, but what really caught my eye was this first one. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to download that. I'll go ahead and download it at a pretty high resolution, but be mindful that the larger the file size, the larger your PowerPoint file size is going to be. And so you want to be very mindful of that. You're welcome to give attribution as well. Now I'm going to hop back over to PowerPoint and insert that video. I'll click on insert video. It's on my PC since I downloaded it. I'm going to select that and there it is on my slide. Now with the video selected, I have access to the hidden ribbons. I can do my video format, which means I can change the colors and the contrast, or I can add video styles. I can change the border and add effects. I can also crop it if I want to. What I want to click on is the playback ribbon. And what I'm interested in is that when the slideshow starts, I want the video to start automatically. You can also have it in click in sequence as well as clicked on. So click in sequence and clicked on means you would actually have to start the video in order for it to have that effect. I'm going to select automatically and I'm also going to choose loop until stopped. So that way when it gets to the end and this is this video uh, looks like it's about 20 seconds long, it'll just play back from the beginning. If I wanted to, I could also trim the video. If it's a very short loop, then I can shorten this video so that it's only one loop instead of multiple loops. Now when I play the slide, you can see the animation play out. So at this point, I'm just going to enter a text box. I'll start out with a plain text box and I'll put some title. I'll go ahead and format this text box by stretching it to the width of the slide. I'm going to change the color, the font type, and the size. I'll go ahead and center this. I'm going to align it so that it's right in the middle and then I can adjust the text box. Now you can see it's actually snapping back into shape because the text box is fitting the shape of the, the content in there. What I'm going to do is format the shape. I'm going to click on the size and position box and in the text box drop down I'm going to select do not auto fit. Right now it's resizing the shape of the text box to fit the text and I don't want that. I want a little bit more control over my text box. Now I'm going to format shape and align that so that it's right in the middle. I can probably make this a little bit bigger too, uh, maybe 115. So previewing that, it looks pretty good as it is. With my initial slide, I ended up putting some more effects into the text box. So with the text box selected, I go to format shape and I went and filled it with an orange. I selected an orange from one of these bokehs and then I went to shape effect and with soft edges, I didn't want the text box to be just a box because that's not a very good effect. It works a little bit. You have the animation off to the edges here, but I wanted to really integrate the title into the background so that it was more seamless. So for the shape effects, I'll go ahead and select soft edges and I'm going to choose a pretty soft edge, maybe 50 points. And if I wanted to specify that more, I can go to soft edges and soft edges options. And here I can adjust the size of the softness of the edge. And I want it to be actually pretty soft, but you can see that the soft edges bleed onto the screen and I want that to be off the screen. And so I'm going to widen the box so that it's quite a bit off the screen. So now I have the soft effect on the top and the bottom, but then a clean edge on the side. 
Another thing I did with this text box, again in the shape format, you can format the text itself. And so the text, you can put in various colors. I put in a standard color, which is tan background too. But then I also wanted to put a little bit of an outline. And so I took that tan background too, and I bumped it so that it's a little bit darker and so that it kind of pops out from the background of the text box. And let's preview this again. You can see some interesting looped background interactions right on PowerPoint. It'll really add some animation and some life to your videos. The only thing I'll mention is to use this feature sparingly. The reason why is because if you're giving a live presentation, then your audience has limited attention and you want to really use PowerPoint to supplement your delivery, but not distract from it. And as simple as that is, even watching simple geometric shapes change on the slide takes a little bit of cognitive attention from the audience that they have to dedicate watching that, comprehending that. And unless it supplements the message that you're saying, you want to be mindful and sparing on how you use this interaction. But it's a great way to put a slide up on the presentation before you actually give the presentation, something for them to look at, something that catches their attention and holds them and gives them something to look forward to, that this is going to be a great presentation. You have my attention. Let's rock and roll.